Hello everybody, I'm Phil Fantastic from the Game Pack, and welcome to another installment of The First 15, where we play the first 15 minutes of a game and give our initial impressions. Today's game is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Originally released on the Game Boy in 1993 and remastered for the Game Boy Color in 1998, 21 years later, here we are in 2019 with a new version of Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. Now, you can get this game retail or on the eShop for $59.99, or if you manage to get a voucher when they were offering that program, this game is actually eligible for one of the vouchers. Um, I am ready. This, oh my gosh, this is adorable. I'm ready to start playing. This is so cute. Wake him up. It's time for an adventure. Get up, little guy. Wow, look at like the depth of field on the trees. This game is going to be beautiful. I cannot wait. So let's get into it. I <laughs> I'm not going to wait anymore. Let's get into the game and start playing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Let's start a new game here. Ooh, hero mode. Mm, let's stick with normal for the first 15. And Link. Yeah, we should probably just call ourselves Link. And okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The first 15 has started. Marin, what a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. Who's this guy? Taryn. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How'd I know your name? You think it's weird, huh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Oh, nice! The Hylian shield looks great. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. All right. Oh, very cool. In the uh, Game Boy games, you had to assign that to either the A button or the B button. But we've got a lot more buttons on the Pro Controller and the Joy-Con, so that's fantastic. All right, so we don't have our sword yet. Uh, and I just so happen to know that, oh my goodness, look at this. Got the classic Chain Chomp. Let's explore the town just for a second before we get on with our adventure. Look at these little foxes. Very cool. Oh my gosh. And the little... Can I pick them up? I can! <gasps> Gotta be careful. Don't want to make them upset. I love how the chain chomp barks. Okay, so... These little guys, they used to say, this is how you save the game. Press all the buttons at the same time. I hear when you're running out of hearts, you'd better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Yeah, they changed the dialogue. They changed the dialogue to better match the, uh, the Switch version. Very cool. Imagine we'll see quite a few things. Oh, it doesn't bounce back? Uh-oh. We are just, we have no offensive capabilities right now. We are straight up on defense looking for the sword. Now I know the sword is on the beach. Ooh, I think that's the first dungeon actually. We don't want to go there quite yet. We want to head back. I want to try to progress the story as much as I can for you guys. So you can get a pretty good idea of what the gameplay is like. So I think you actually have to go down this way. This is so funny. It matches the original map so well, but it just looks so beautiful. So you can use the, sh the, sh the shield here to kind of push these guys forward. 
but this Octorok's in my way. Get my way, Octorok. Okay, one more. Hey, I'm coming back with a sword in just a minute. You better watch yourself. Here we go. There it is. Oh, I hear flapping. Is that Gapora? Oh, look at his wings. Look at the purple feathers. Owl, hoot hoot. Okay, so he's not Gapora, he's just an owl. Hoot hoot. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Okay, so let's go meet the owl north in the mysterious forest. But let's pick up the sword. Pick it. Yes! You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it with the B with B to attack any enemies in your path. Okay. <laughs> Alright, can we charge? Yes, we can charge! Oh, you better watch out, Octorox. I got a sword now. Whoa, who are you? Get out of here. Oh, you can hit the little urchin guys, too. Ooh, I need that. I need that heart. I need that heart before I go on my adventure. All right, let's go to the north. kind of want to talk to that other kid. It's so easy to just want to explore the beautiful landscape and just get sidetracked. Let's talk to this kid. I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, but you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. Okay? But I don't understand what that means by... <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right, so minus is the map. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's all, like, hand-drawn, and then it fills in. Very cool. There's the shores. There's the village. And I think up here, this is the forest. So we need to head up there. But very quickly, guys, I'm going to take us on a detour. Because I think there's something down here. Hey, a piece of a heart. You got a piece of a heart. Press plus on the subscreen to see. All right, this is what the menus look like. Here's my equipment so far. I've got the green tunic, the sword, the shield. I've got a piece of a heart right here. Uh, and this is where the instruments will show up, just so you know, guys. You collect instruments in this game. Some system settings, saving and loading, and the map. Okay. I think we need to get on with our adventure. <laughs> All right, so to the north. Grab this rupee. I have two rupees. Okay, this is the forest. Mysterious forest. Ho, oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholent Island. I'm afraid you might find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching... Hoot. All right, so he's going to guide us through our journey, which is helpful. In some of these top-down Zelda games, it's a little easy to get turned around or kind of lose your way. All right, so this is a Moblin or a Bacoblin? I sometimes don't know the difference, and I apologize to all the Zelda fans out there who are screaming at your phones or your computers right now saying, Oh, clearly it's a Moblin. Look how big he is. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it's a Moblin. I'm sorry. All right, let's talk to the raccoon. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Okay. 
You're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> Look at his face. A little mischief maker. Okay, he's gone. We've got a fairy. Hello? Great fairy, you've still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. Okay, so I have full health, so she can't be too helpful to me right now. Ooh. Yes! Gotta use that shield. Look at that. All right, we are looking... Actually, I think we've already found where I need to go. I could be wrong. This feels right. Let's try this way. Gotta get these keys out of the way. Very dangerous. I'm really enjoying how responsive the sword strike is. Now I've gotta be really careful here. When I step on these little cracks, it'll break and I could fall through. Yep. Gotta reset the room. There we go. Let's push this over. Break these. Push this. And what do we get? 50 rupees! Yep. 50 rupees. Purple means 50. I was right. Oh, whoo! Whoof! That guy almost got me. Ooh. Now, I could spend some time solving this puzzle, but I actually think what I'm going to do for the sake of the first 15 is I'm going to skip this. And I'm going to see how far I can get in the mysterious forest. You picked the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Now I know that that toadstool helps us complete this current objective. Oh, 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 okay, I'm good. Oh, it only lets you move one space. Reset. You definitely gotta use some trial and error when you're solving some of these puzzles. They can get tricky. Over, 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 up. There we go, okay. We will get that piece of a heart at a later date. Oh, the keys are back. Ooh, is that an acorn? What are those for? A guardian acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Oh, I remember that. It's just for a limited period of time. They're very rare, or at least they were. Yeah, but it cuts your damage in half. Look, see, I just took a quarter of a heart damage instead of a half heart. Power-ups are not something you normally see. All right, let's see. Does a raccoon have anything to say? Nope, same thing. Let's move. Uh-oh. I think we can leave if we go up and around. Let's give that a shot. Ooh, I got, I got one stuck to me. Ooh, what is this? A piece of power? Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is the other power-up. I think it makes you do double damage. Okay, now we're on the prairie. I'm not sure what we can do over here. Oh, no, this is it. This is the witch, I think. Yes! Ah, it has a sleepy toadstool, it does. Well, mix up something in a jiffy, we will. It's all ready. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? Okay, so I've got some magic powder, so I have to set it to either Y or X. I'm going to set it to Y. I'm going to put it on the mouse. No? Ooh! There you go. 
Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I'll make you more. Come back without a toadstool, and you will have to pay a price for my leftovers. Okay. All right, so now what you need to do, at least what you used to have to do, is take this powder back to that rascally raccoon. This game is like a one-to-one -one recreation of the original, but with just masterful graphics and sound. Oh my god, I am blown away. Ooh, we need to find the raccoon, and I hope I'm not lost. Oh my gosh, did I get lost? No, he should be here. <gasps> Where did you go, you little raccoon? Oh no. We've got to find him. We're running out of time for the first 15. Oh no! There he is! All right. I am going to cut it there because I don't want you guys to see any spoilers for the story. Okay, we have about 10 seconds left on the clock, but I want to jump right into my conclusion. This game is an absolutely magnificent remaster of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. They did a brilliant job remastering the music, making the graphics just so lovable and unique. I cannot wait to re-experience the story. It was a classic 10 out of 10 game back when it came out in 1993. It was great when it was remastered in 1998 on the Game Boy Color. And I cannot imagine that this game is not going to be a 10 out of 10 here on the Switch again in 2019. I cannot express how much fun that 15 minutes was and of all the games that we've done so far in the first 15 or that i've played so far in 2019 i don't think i've been more excited to dig deeper into a game well that's all i have to say about the first 15 minutes of the legend of zelda Link's Awakening, we will have a full review on the game pack, so make sure to stay tuned. Hit that like button if you liked this video. Subscribe if you want to see the review or if you want to check out our weekly podcast or our other first 15s or all the other videos we put on our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and go play some games. Have fun. Bye.